Hi guys, my name is Chad Trofgerben, and you are watching Chad Chat. Before I begin today's episode, I just want to remind you guys that this week, Thursday the 19th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, I will be hosting a webinar on the benefits of Anime Studio for Flash users. Smith Micro is hosting this and they asked me to uh, participate in the webinar and it will be free and anyone can join up. I have provided the link in the details box on this video so you can click that and join up if you wish. If you want to see the seminar but you can't uh, attend that day or at that time, I believe that they will make the video available on YouTube about a week after it is recorded, so you can always check it out then. Just know that there will be a Q&A session for the live webinar, so you'll have the advantage of asking questions, if you wish, at the end. So that's an advantage that you'll have if you do decide to join the live session. So I hope to see you guys there. And today's episode is about Flash. Is it becoming obsolete? Well, let's talk about that in today's Chad Chat. This week's question comes from Andrew, and he actually asked last week's question as well. While I typically don't feature questions back to back from the same person like this, I just feel his questions were both very good and relevant for our viewers. And so today's question is, do you think Flash will be an important program in the future? Because of the fact that Flash cannot be played on iOS devices such as iPhone, iPad, etc., do you think Flash will still be around? Or do you think this is a silly fear about Flash? And he goes on again to cite that he likes working with the program, but he's a little bit afraid of the iOS dilemma. In order to effectively answer this question, I think we really need to break Flash into two different categories. First, we need to look at Flash as a creative tool used to create cartoons and videos. And second, we need to look at Flash as a developer tool that is used to create interactive content like websites, mobile applications, or games. So from the first perspective, Flash as a creative tool, I don't think, and this is just my opinion, but I don't think that Flash is in any danger of becoming obsolete. And the reason for this is because as content creators of video, we're not so much concerned about the technology that's presenting it as we are with the content inside the video. That's typically how it goes. For instance, when you create a cartoon and you stick it on YouTube, you're not really thinking about what YouTube is doing with the video because that's on their end. They're constantly evolving their technology to meet today's standards. While you're just creating the content, the artistic content, and providing it to YouTube. The same can be said now with burning it to a DVD or a disc, or a Blu-ray disc perhaps, uh, providing it to a film festival, and so on. Again, it's not so much about the technical aspects as it is just the artistic aspects. And I stand by this with all different types of software. I mean, you can use any type of software you want to create the art that you want. That's how I feel. So if you're comfortable with Flash, I think that's great. You could even create a cartoon in MS Paint if you wanted to, create a thousand images um, of frame-by-frame -frame animation, compile it into a video editor, and make a cartoon that way. Again, as long as the cartoon is good, who cares how it's created? Who cares which software made it? And that's my opinion about that. The only thing that you get stuck on in that area is when you present it as an SWF. That's the Flash format used to display content on the internet. So yes, there could come a point if you are, let's say, embedding SWFs on websites of your cartoons, there could come a point where that method might become obsolete. When will that can become obsolete? I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. Um, and this doesn't just go with Flash either. I know Anime Studio, you can export as SWFs as well. So that is the only area I would be... Um, a little, you know, sticky on as far as what uh, the artistic value of Flash means as far as exporting videos. So that brings me to the next point, which is Flash as a developer tool. And this kind of goes in line with the SWF dilemma and just the fact that you're distributing content on the web in this fashion. 
and it could become obsolete. That is true. HTML5 is becoming the new standard. And again, I'm not an expert on this as far as the technical aspects, but as far as I know, you know, Flash is being phased out very slowly throughout the internet. I mean, and Apple was the first step in this. Whether, you know, whatever their justification was, there's many answers from their controlling to they had security issues, whatever. The fact is that Apple doesn't allow their content on their devices. And as we continue on, we're seeing um, other interactive elements coming through the use of HTML5 and other methods. So as a developer, you have to be very careful with this because your content very much relies on that Flash element. And so I think it's all about just keeping up to date with the technology and being sure that most of your audience can view your content. Now, the thing is, from what I've heard, is Adobe said that they would embrace HTML5. What capacity? I don't know. I don't know if Flash CS6, for example, will have HTML5 uh, capabilities. Perhaps it will. That I'm not 100% sure on. Um, and so how I see it is, I don't think a company like Adobe or any major company out there is going to risk getting behind the curve. And so if you are relying on Flash for most of your creative needs, I would say it's a safe bet. I shouldn't uh, say this for 100% certainty, and I'm not. But as technology evolves, I'm sure Adobe and all the other software companies are going to try to keep up. So I wouldn't be surprised at all if you see um, new capabilities in Flash CS6 or whatever the new version will be called that supports um, elements beyond the SWF and other Flash element um, properties. So those are my thoughts on the process. Again, just to recap, I think as an artistic tool you have no danger of Flash becoming obsolete. Again, you could use anything you wish. I think this is why people still use claymation over 3D modeling because there's a certain craft to it. Every software has a different feel. And so if you like the way Flash um, is feeling for you as far as an artistic tool in your own cartoons and movies, I say stick with it. There's no problem with that. As a developer, you may want to be careful when proceeding forward. Just make sure that your audience, the majority of your audience can view your content. If the shift starts occurring, just make sure you keep up to date. Make sure you know what Adobe is doing. Um, make sure that they will be supporting the new technologies in the future. If not, then I guess it's time to maybe think about other alternatives. But again, given the status of Adobe, given that they are a very um, high up company when it comes to this kind of technology, these kind of rich media technologies, I don't think you have anything to worry about when you upgrade to the new software. So anyway, that is uh, that is the question, and I just answered it. I hope <laughs> I hope you uh, found it helpful. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to go to chadchat.incrediblettutorials.com. You can check me out on Twitter. I also have Facebook and Google Plus pages, so be sure to check those out as well. And I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week.